Hey everyone, welcome to part four of the HTML Pro series of tutorials. Today I'm going to be working with tables and forms and I'm going to be introducing you to how to submit a form. We're going to be making a contact form and we're going to be using the simple mail to code using an external email client. In next week's tutorial though, I'm going to be showing you how to do it in PHP without having Google Mail as your email client, etc. But it's going to become apparent and more clear as we go on with the tutorial. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing we've got to do is um, we are going to uh, quickly open this up in uh, just to see what we've got. So we've got the banner, we've got the links, we've got the marquee tool, and we've got the main content with the embedded video. And um, underneath that we have the footer, just with the copyright um, and links and whatever you, whatever you want to put. So we're going to close that, and now we are going to copy the index file, the index.html file, and we're going to paste it onto the desktop. Uh, we're going to rename it quickly, we're going to rename it contact. Um, now we're going to open it up in Adobe Dreamweaver. Uh, wait for it to load and as you can see we've got our code. Now we're going to take out a few things here, we're going to take out the marquee tag, we are going to take out all the main content, um, leaving in the div tags, so the container and main div tags, and we are going to go to the design now and have a look at what it looks like. So we've got the menu, uh, the banner, uh, below that we've got the menu bar, the content, which, which there isn't any of, and the footer. Okay, so in between the div ID equals main tags, um, we are going to start adding our form. Now to do this, um, we it's really simple. Um, the first thing we're going to type, uh, actually we're going to add a table first. So you can press Control alt t to bring up this option. We're going to have four rows, two columns, table width of 640 pixels with cell spacing of two. That's about right. Um, press OK and this table will now appear and NBSP is basically a space so there'll be a space in each one of them and as you can see we have uh, two uh, columns and four rows um, so that's looking good so we're going to go into the first uh, column and the first row and we're going to take out the space um, code and we're going to start typing in input uh, sorry we're going to start writing name rather um, so we're going to write name here and in the one below we're going to write uh, email, uh, and in the one below that, we are going to write message. Um, and now, below the name one, um, so on the column to the right, we're going to start writing input. Uh, input type equals text. Name equals name because that's the name. Uh, the, the name uh, uh, text input. And then we are going to, uh, obviously we've got all these options here, we are going to add the value input here. Now this is the default value that you'll see in your text box, so enter your name, we can see that. Now if we go to the design, you can see we've now got a, uh, a text input box, and it obviously says enter your name uh, in it as the default value. So we can take this away, um, and we can just leave it as a blank box, so if we go back to the design, obviously you can see it is just a blank text box. So we are going to copy this, so right click copy or again control C and we're going to paste it below email, so uh, right click paste and we're going to just change one thing, we're going to just change it to email, the name to email. Now in the message we are going to uh, write a text, uh, sorry we're going to write uh, yeah text area, uh, what am I doing, I'm rubbish at typing today, right text area and um, Obviously we can uh, change the size, but for now we're just going to write in text area. Now this is looking uh, a bit screwed up because we haven't closed off the text area. So there we go, we've closed it off. It's the only input one that we need, the kind of input one that we need to close off for now. Um, we obviously don't need to close off the input, but we do need to close off the text area. Now in the text area we want to write in, uh, we are going to change the size of it. So to do this we're going to go into the text area tag and we're going to go rows. And this selects how many rows we want in the text box. So we're going to go for five, and then in the cols, which stands, which is short for columns, uh, which is short for the kind of the width of it, we're going to have 40. Um, obviously, feel free to play around, but now it's got uh, five rows and uh, a width of 40 kind of thing. We can change the size of these two um, by simply adding here width. So if we write width 50, obviously that's very small because it's now working on uh, pixel size. So um, this is not, so if we do P PX it hasn't changed it, so it's width of 50 pixels. So this isn't ideal. So to uh, fix this issue we're going to get rid of width um, and we're actually going to write in size. So if we write in size 30 
and that's already bigger than the one below it with the default size. So again we can write in size 30, go back to the design and see they're both matching up. So it's looking good now, although message we want to shift to the top of this uh, cell, this table cell. So in the TD, uh, immediately before it we want to do VAlign top. There we go, it's shifted it to the top and now all we need to do is add a, a submit button. So users can submit, um, I say all we need to do, there is some more stuff, but for now we are going to add a submit button. So you simply do the input tag again, input type equals uh, submit. Um, and we are going to, in this uh, submit, uh, in this input, we are going to have a value, a default value. And if we write in submit here, that will be what it says, what it says on the button. Uh, and again, on the name, we are going to have submit. So as you can see, it's got a, bu it's a button and it says submit on it. Now to change this, we're going to go back to the code and where it says value, um, if we get rid of this and we type in send my message, for example, go back to the design, obviously the button now says send my message. So that's looking nice, that's looking really good. Now we are going to save this, we're going to minim minimize it, we're going to open it up, oh it's gone to there, we're going to open it up and obviously as you can see we have now got our form where we can enter all the details that we want. Oh, so this is email, so enter whatever email you want to. Hi, um, this is my message message box, um, just write whatever you want, you can obviously press enter and go down and the scroll bar on the side will start appearing on the right hand side of the, the area box. You can write more and more uh, by um, with a smiley. Now if we, uh, obviously you can see we've written quite a bit now. Now if we press send my message, it's not going anywhere, it's not doing anything. Now the reason for this is because um, we haven't told it to go anywhere or do anything. So above the table tag, we're going to do form action equals mail to, and then the email address of your choice. So I'm, I'm going to enter my uh, Google Mail email address. Um, and then we are going to type in here, we're going to do method equals post, because we want it to post information. We don't want it to get information. And obviously, we're going to close the form below the table. So we've now told it to do stuff. So if you press save and go back into uh, Google Chrome and enter the details again, um, and press um, and enter our message and press send my message again, it's doing nothing. Now the reason for this is because we're uh, locally hosting. We're not hosting online. If we were hosting on the internet, it would do it. Now, to be able to show you an example of this, I'm actually going to be using Firefox. So at the moment I'm using Chrome, but the, one of the only ones that will work is uh, Firefox for offline. So if we were to put this online, it would work in Chrome. But for now, I'm going to open it up in Firefox. Again, you can see my form looking pretty much the same. So I'm going to quickly fill out information. Uh, Ed Johnson. So, hi, this is my message. Um, oh, this is their message. Press send and it now gives us a, a launch application box and we've got options of Yahoo Mail and Google Mail. Obviously if we press one of them and pressed OK, it would send our message through uh, what I'm signed in on, which is Google Mail and Yahoo Mail. Um, but I'm not going to send it now, um, simply because I don't want to send myself a message. But that is how to do forms. Uh, in next week's tutorial I'll be showing you how you can do this without an email client so the PHP scripts which I'm going to be introducing you to will automatically send it um, without using an email client like Google Mail. Thanks for watching guys, please don't forget to rate, comment, favourite and of course subscribe. Bye for now.